the very first day oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when we were shooting the dildo scene with her walking you know along the road and then um, someone we were in front of a, of a someone's business I don't know a garage or something and they stopped us because they said like you're shooting a porn and by the way it wasn't like this we were on an industrial yeah. street a very wide street no one was in around. Uh, Gowanus Brooklyn it wasn't like a children's baby clothing store it yeah. was um, an auto repair shop yeah. and a parking garage so parking garage on this side auto repair on this side me with a dildo right here yeah but like doing the same you know motion just over walking, and over again, walking just walking away, dildo. pick it up you As know, you do. Middle of the day, I mean, like, no problem at all. And this woman comes down and says, like, you guys have to shut it down. You know, like, you guys are shooting a porn. I've been calling, I'm going to call the police. And, and for me, like, we, I don't know, like, we send in the line producer, send in the location manager, and nobody could sort of, you know, do anything about it. And I was like, okay, this is crazy. You know, I could just put my producer hat and believe in myself a bit more. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. walked in, and I just started, this, you know, it was like a room with, like, all these big guys, and this little girl was screaming at me. And I was like, look. My director just met the president last last week, which was true. She had been invited to the, you know, to the I White House. I can't believe that's what you I showed her with. a photo. I showed her a photo. I was like, look, this is Obama on my phone. You know, I was like, do you think that someone who just met the president would be shooting a porn? Come on. And that, that did it for her. So I can't I like, believe, I, and you told me that later, and I felt like maybe you were just, like, blowing smoke up my ass, but... It's true, you've been involved. I mean, like, that was like, you know, you, because for you going to the White House was like nothing. I remember texting, I was like, oh, I don't care. I was like, oh my God, I'm done. The week before we went into production, yeah, so was I was invited to the White House. Uh, they had a gay and lesbian Pride Month uh, celebration. It was like LGBT Pride cocktail reception. And it was annoying because it was we were in the middle of prep. So I didn't take it super seriously because I was super stressed out and really worried that like at any minute the sky was going to fall and we we're going to like cancel the film. Uh, so I didn't I wasn't there. I wasn't present for it. It was an incredible experience. And Obama spoke and Biden spoke. And it was I mean, I should have been a, a, like an emotional mess. But the whole time I was like, where's my costume fitting? Uh, and so it was, it was, it didn't hit me. And so it's so funny that that was the that selling, saved the Obama saved my movie. If I hadn't Thank have you, met president. the president, you could have just quickly photoshopped a photo <laughs> I know. together. I just, yeah, Google. But anyway. Yeah. That's a producer who thinks on her feet. So that's me. Hi, me. But yeah, shooting in New York every two seconds, someone wants to shut you down. One guy like literally yeah. booed at us. He was like, oh, boo. Yeah. <laughs> We were shooting in Bushwick one day, and one guy was like, to you, this is an aesthetic, but for me, this is my life. And it was like, it was like literally 2 o'clock on a Monday. I was like, yeah. we woke you up 2 o'clock on a Monday because we're shooting a talking scene, all being very quiet and respectful, and this is an invasion of your life. Bloody but. obsessed.